Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about how to effectively use bows in Oblivion. Now, first of all, I'm pretty sure we all know how to use a bow in Oblivion. Is You sit at range and you shoot someone with the arrows. You know, that's a pretty normal way to use a bow in any video game, really. I mean, even as far back as like Zelda games, you are at range and you use a bow. But in Oblivion, there's a couple other things that you need to worry about when using a bow. Now, if your bow skill is really, really low, holding an arrow uses fatigue. So just know that you have to watch your fatigue if you're really, really low level. But normally, when you use a bow, what you want to worry about is if the enemy can get to you and if you have enough time to pull the arrow back, aim, shoot, and not get hit. That's a big thing because some enemies... They might look really, really far away, but as soon as you pull the arrow back and you kind of have to adjust your aim and stuff, that's when you're going to end up missing or something like that and or getting hit or taking a second shot and getting hit because of it. So you don't want that to happen. Another thing is you need to learn arrow weight. The arrows don't just go straight. You know, they have their arch to them. So you need to learn the arrow arch and you need to pull the bow back, you know, all the way or sometimes you don't need to pull it back all the way just to make sure that the arrow arch is correct. Now, with those two basic things, what you really want, um, the ideal situation is to jump on top of something or give yourself enough room to where a melee fighter can't hit you whatsoever. Okay, that's pretty normal. Ranged combat is where it gets interesting. You want enough space to wherever you're standing to dodge a ranged attack, okay? And it's very simple in Oblivion. The AI is very easy to trick. All you gotta do is stand still, and as soon as you hear the bow go off or a spell go off, you just move sideways. That That's basically how you dodge anything in Oblivion. Um, if you're moving to the right or left or you're moving somewhere and they cast a spell, it's, it's aimed sideways and it's gonna hit you, you can just go the other way or stop or jump or whatever. So there's a lot of leeway when it comes to dodging things in Oblivion. If your acrobatic skill isn't high enough, make sure you know that, okay, you can't jump over stuff, so you need to make sure that you don't get stuck like in a corner in an alien ruin or the corner of a cave, something like that. And it's really, that's just really important that you don't, that you can dodge ranged attacks. Because if you're focusing a lot on a bow, you're not leveling up your endurance like you would expect, so therefore you're not gonna have as much health unless you efficiently level your character. And another thing is make sure you carry a bunch of arrows. Running out of ammo is just just an awkward situation. Now bows, they can be really versatile because enemies won't run away from you if you're using a bow. So mages and archers are actually easier to kill if you are using a bow, which you should actually take those guys out first because they're the ones that can do the higher damage to you because you can run around a warrior all day, but a ranged character, you always have to be on your toes and you're going to end up making a mistake every once in a while and getting hit. But bows, you don't actually need the arrows to be enchanted. You need the bow to be enchanted to use an, an enchantment. And just like carrying a normal weapon, it's good to have like maybe a silenced bow and a high damage bow and maybe even a soul trap bow and just knowing, okay, which one am I going to use? You know, what kind of arrows am I going to use? Carrying silver arrows is really important in the beginning because then you can hurt ghosts and stuff. So those are just a bunch of little things to keep in mind when you're using a bow in Oblivion. Basically, dodge stuff and make sure you have correct enchants, enchantments and learn how the AI works so that way you can dodge it more. So that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe for new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.